daughter, and I've mentioned her in the past, she's an artist. She blows me away every time. Her color recognition is off the charts. She could take the 150 set and put it in color order um, without looking at any sort of reference sheet or anything. She just looks at it and puts my pencils back in order. When she was really young, she, we were called down to the school and they were like, there's something not right with her. She's got this incredible gift to be able to draw anything she wanted at a very, very young age. I mean, she was like, like in first grade kindergarten and she was drawing perspective, which is really not something that kids that age do. And she was literally drawing on a way up a level. They couldn't even test it out on her. But when they sat down and they told her, write the letters, here's a B. My daughter would pick up a pencil and she would go, like that. And they were like, there's something like she's not making a connection. And during this meeting, my husband and I sat there and we listened intently with it. And we were like, no, that's not her problem. And they were like, yeah, there's a problem here. And we called my daughter in and I said to her, write a B the way mom writes a B. And my daughter picks up a pencil and writes a B. And the teachers were like, okay, why is she doing this? I said, that's the way she sees it. She don't want to draw a B that looks like this. In her artistic mind, bees look like this and they come and they swirl and they look like calligraphy. That's what she sees in her mind. This is sort of what I want you to do on a different scale. I want you to take your cognitive ability back to nursery school when they were teaching you how to uh, recognize your colors and even younger than that take it way back take just like reading you need to know your abcs and that's where i want you to begin now i don't have um uh, flash cards i have sticky pads that's but i want you to get a white flash card and on one side i want you to do the full color I don't want you to do hues. I don't want you to do a gradient. I want you to get the full color of the, pe the pencil on one side. Turn it over. And you're going to write, this happens to be scarlet red. And I want you to use the pencil to write that down. So if you were doing, say, um, here's the electric blue, I would write electric blue, turn the card over, and I want you to put it like that so that... This would be written in the red. This would be written in the blue. And I want you to do this for the whole entire 150 box so that you have a stack of these flashcards. And every once in a while, I want you to pick those flashcards up and I want you to just read them. Maybe once a week or however ambitious that you are. Scarlet red and look at it. Scarlet red and look at it. And I want you to then close your eyes. And I want you to see this letter, scarlet red, with your eyes closed. But I want you to see in your imagination this exact picture. 
Then I want you to turn it over. I want you to look at it. And then I want you to close your eyes and I want you to see that color. We're imprinting both. This is very important. The word with the color and the actual color. You do this often enough with all the colors and you're going to eventually, just like you learned how to write A, B. Why do you think that when they make flashcards now, the really good ones, they'll do apple. And then they'll draw an apple on, which looks like a cherry, but <laughs> they'll do it that way. They show the child the association with the apple, the apple, and then maybe on the other side, they put an A. A is for apple. Ah, apple. And they're bringing in more recognition of the same thing in different ways so that when your brain is learning, you everybody learns differently. You may learn just by sight. You may need to write it. You may need to see it. But the most important thing is to be able to see it in your mind. Do this about nine, go through that stack about nine or 10 times, casually in a relaxed environment. And you're going to start to see on the walls and on buildings, these colors differently. It's going to work. Then I want you to look at objects. And when you look at objects, Say you have a, a pink sheet. I don't want you to say in your mind uh, anymore, oh, that sheet is pink. I want you to pick up that pink sheet and I want you to say in your mind, that pink sheet is really pink rose. It's not just pink because pink could be pink. But that sheet is that it's pink rose, both being pink, both being forms of a red, but this pink has more of a purple hue. It's a bluer pink than this pink. This is more red. And the more objects you pick up and the more often that you do that, the easier it's going to be able, you are going to be able to do this when you go to color a picture, when you see in your mind, and what I do is when I see a coloring page, like here's an old one that you might recognize that I did. When I see in this mind, this was a, a, a test, an example of just using two pencils. So I, this isn't a fully developed picture. You have to go back and look at the video to see what I was doing in this picture. But when I look at this picture, I'm not seeing blue, pink. I'm seeing, no, that's electric blue. That's powder blue. There is raspberry. There's hot pink. There's nothing because I did white and then I smeared it. So it's got a tone of that color which was the hot pink and the neon pink. Eventually, you're going to see it. It's gonna click into your brain. You do it often enough, and guess what? You're gonna be up here on YouTube doing videos trying to explain to people how your mind is doing this because you're not even gonna know because you're gonna see it. You will be an artist. You can go blind and you will still be able to recognize the colors. You will be able to put colors down on a paper. You might have to do it in, in, um, uh, you know, paint where you could feel the texture, but you will still be able to do it. And that my friends is how I do it. <laughs> it's exactly how I do it. So if you have any questions in uh, put them in the comments or write to me personally. Either way, it's good. You will get a response. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.